It's been so long since I've worked. I don't know if I missed it or not. I don't know how I feel about this. But I made eighty thousand dollars in twenty-four minutes. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here in a blockboard. Blockburg. But I finally decided why not bring back future Blockburg updates. I would like to see. Uh, I said I was going to do the last one in January because I didn't know what else to, uh, to wish for. But I found a couple more things to wish for. And I hope they add somewhere in this game eventually. We're gonna, just going to bring this back. I don't know how often I'm going to do it. Probably still maybe once a month or once every other month or so. If you have any more Blockburg ideas or future updates you would like to see, make sure to always leave them in the comments down below. If you like to see more things like this, make sure to give the video right now a thumbs up or just because why not yeah just do it things there's eight things i want i wished for in this list here's my list it's kind of it's it's eight things but so the first update that they could add is uh you could get sick maybe just for a bit of realism they could add a hospital in the town so this is not just for like a player thing but it's kind of good for the town as well because it's been a while since we've got like any major updates for our town it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of plain but they could totally add a hospital somewhere it comes with new jobs a hospital in the town with new jobs depressed you know how your character when they're tired they start staring at the ground they walk really slow maybe when they're sick they could somewhat be like that as well they could show signs of not being really well and they'd have to go to the hospital to get treated it's just the normal thing i'm sure people would love to see like a hospital added or a bank or anything like that or school yeah that's my number one your character could get sick you could just wait a couple in-game days like maybe three to four blocksburg days maybe two to three blocksburg days and your character will just feel better without getting treatment or anything like that you just kind of like have to rest up a bit you know all right number two on my list is more vacation spots throughout the town I think it's good for family role plays where you could just explore off into small resort somewhere where I don't know somewhere around here they could add a resort or let me get in my car for this I cannot I cannot do this while I'm in my yard oh good morning hi good morning I just worked I'm not doing I'm not doing that but um yes our town is still plain as ever and I know Coeptus is trying his best to maybe add some more stuff but hopefully hopefully we get like a fun little vacation area because we have so much the map got an extension a long time ago but with that extension came with like not really a whole lot we just got more places to drive around and whatnot but there's really nothing like you could totally add like a resort somewhere along these empty uh lands i mean i'm not i'm not sure if it's good to add it around here yeah there's just a lot of emptiness within the highway the freeway or whatever we only have like this camping area but but imagine if they added like a resort or just like an updated campgrounds. I feel like it would be really nice to just have that. But yeah, I feel like we just need a vacation area in Blockburg somewhere to just relax and take our minds off from building and designing all that. It's just trees and grass. It's just trees and grass. But yeah, Coeptus is trying his best and I appreciate all the hard work he does no matter what. Like, I just want you guys to know, by the way, I don't expect any of these things to get added as a warning. There's just little ideas that I would hope to see in the future. Cool. It's very difficult designing a game, you know, especially when you are working by yourself or just with one other person. All Doing all of the stuff that I mentioned is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's not impossible, though. It's not impossible. Um, but number three on my list is having some more roleplay items. This is going to connect with Brookhaven a bit, and I feel like Brookhaven just blew up, you know. We all know Brookhaven is... It's probably one of the most popular like games nowadays because there's just so many people playing it it just like blew up and i can see why it blew up because they have so many things that you can use like role play items wise like you just click on this little bag icon in brookhaven and you have all sorts of stuff ready for you to use like a cell phone a stroller one of those um stretchers that you use for like hospitals and stuff like they have so many role play items like a briefcase maybe like a grocery bag just a couple boxes i feel like we should hope also have that as well since blossberg is a town role play city game as well in its own genre so i feel like having role play items ready for you i guess or just like having role play items you could buy in build mode and just put them on your lot and use them whenever i think that would be a really good idea for better role play films and stuff and all of that because i know a lot of people really love role playing it's probably one of the most popular things to do now in these games so 
being able to like pull out your own cell phone and pretend make it look like you're actually on a on the call or texting somebody brookhaven has all these small little details that just makes role plays a lot more fun in a way i'm sure a lot of the role players in blockberg would love that too just having easy access to any items all right number four all right let me just leave this i'm gonna oh can i like fall down the hill and die <gasps> yeah Okay, number four, I feel like I've mentioned this a couple times already, and I'm just gonna get through with this already. A video game console. We have video games on our computers, you know? We have that. That's cool. I love that. We can play video games. Console gamers out there, right? People who play on a Switch or an Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> I call it Xbox. Or a PlayStation. Or what other consoles are there? I don't know, those are the main ones, right? We should have like a made up console that we could place like near our TVs or something. I'm wondering why we don't really have it. Maybe it's hard to program. Imagine like just sitting on your couch and then you're like holding onto a controller or something while you play with it on the TV. Yes, I would need that. And that's my number four. And that's pretty much it. All right, number five. Okay, I really am passionate about this number here. Uh, more, Number five is more landscaping items, like new bushes, hedges that you can place anywhere, more trees, you know, more like stylish, I don't know if pillars considered a landscaping, but I would love more pillars too. We're just gonna add that. Yes, I need more landscaping items. And I feel like I really want to improve on my landscaping this year for sure. I I'm sure the, the best builders, they can find a way to make it look really good outside and stuff. I know they're crazy with all this, but I feel like we could use a little bit more. Some of these things could get updated because I, I don't know. I really don't like some of the, this thing right here. I think it's called the natural plant. And I'm sure you can like put it in a vase or something or like a pot, it, make it look nice. But I feel like we need more options. I really want some hedges that you could just place anywhere because the hedges we have now, part of the fences category. So when you place them down, you really can't put them anywhere you want. And I really want just like really bushy looking hedges that you can just put anywhere. I'm, I'm not really a nature expert, so I don't know how much more you could add. But so I feel like we just need an update overall on landscaping items. So if they could do an update on that, that would be really nice because I don't really like this. I don't really... I don't like this too much, but it's okay. And yeah, look at the flowers. I, I love the flowers, but we need more. <laughs> I feel like we could totally use more. I am very passionate about landscaping. I really do want to improve on it. So having more options and updated looking landscaping items could really help me out. Number six. We love this. This is a build mode feature as well, sort of. I'm gonna make this quick. Number six is more textures. I don't know why. I really need more textures. I know we can put like our own custom wall decals now. Like I've done it already for my own kitchen, but some of the items you put on those wall decals, like they don't really show up very well. Maybe they could fix that and I wouldn't have to complain because I'm complaining right now. Or um, we could just have more textures, you know? But right now, let me just show you what I mean. This is why I have this rack here because if you try to put it yeah, some things you just can't put over the the custom wall decals because if they if they fix it to where you could actually like put stuff over it, I would love that. I wouldn't be complaining right now. It's either that or we should get more texture. As you guys know, like we have a good handful of materials technically to choose from, but I want more. <laughs> I need more modern wood floorings. I need more tilings. Something like this. Like this type of tiling, I really like. It's just a good thing for all builders all around. Imagine how awesome the houses would look with better, more textures. Uh, I just love it. And I, I love building. I really love building and I would love more textures. So please co-op this, please, Froggy Hops. Uh, give us more texture, please. I, I want to build more stuff and not use the same textures 5,000 times. So now with number seven is basically neighborhood like permission settings, sort of. For example, throwing like a party or a grand opening or something in your own neighborhood. You know, you have like 50 people coming into your, your place. I would love for there to be like a default permission setting. So because you when you join the game, you have like no permission. A setting where once you join somebody's neighborhood, you're automatically a guest or something. So you know how like when you have families right here, like family permissions, as soon as you're added to someone's family, you can already set them automatically to like as a guest or as a roommate. I would love to have this for neighborhoods in general as well, where when people join you, automatically set the permission. So you don't, people don't have to keep asking you for guests to go into your buildings and stuff perfect number eight more clutter items examples like a shoe rack i'm so surprised we don't have like a shoe rack yet i'm sure people have built their own shoe racks with all like the new structural items so shoe racks coat racks with actual coats on them you know because i'm sick of seeing an empty coat rack it's okay but i would love to have like clothes on there or something um uh, more carpets and rugs 
please 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 i hope we get more carpets and rugs in a future update just like different designed rugs i i love how you can customize each rug to with textures and stuff but i feel like i need like more sizes or different shape rugs so that would be useful there's there's so many types of clutter maybe like a coffee coffee table tray or something that you could put your keys in oh keys oh my god imagine having just like fake keys somewhere like fake car keys or something <sighs> i'm getting tired of talking <laughs> it's only been 22 minutes it's kind of different for the most part from my other list and if once again if you have any blockberg future update ideas that you would like to see get added make sure to list them all down below and i will try to feature some of your guys suggestions in these videos that's all i want to talk about today and complain and ramble on about but if you guys enjoyed it you found it uh inspiring some sort of way or if you agreed with any of these things make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button because it's completely free of course <laughs> but yeah thank you guys as always for taking the time every day to watch this i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day peter bread signing out goodbye everybody